what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here haven't done a halloween video in a while just wanted to talk about something that came out a few months ago from john carpenter discussing this upcoming body count that we should be looking forward to when it comes to halloween kills now in to my knowledge michael myers killed about 18 or 17 people in halloween 2018 uh, but apparently he's gonna have an even bigger body count for this new project that got delayed till sometime next year October 2021 I believe it's still coming out October 2021 um, and John Carpenter had had the following to say about the kill kill count that we should be expecting because apparently this is gonna be the most most explosive most high kill count we've ever seen or some i've heard that from like multiple different people but this is just specifically what john carpenter had to say about that in a recent interview over the summer uh just to hype up the project and just to draw attention to the fact that this halloween is going to be so brutal he said the following the cut is done they'll mix it in new york in the next week or so then it will be in the can my work is all done the movie is something else it's fun, intense, and brutal. A slasher movie times 100, big time. It's huge. I've never seen anything like this. The kill count. Now, going off of that, one thing that we need to kind of just digest with that is how many people are we talking about? Because you already have a cast of people who many fans of the franchise have... You have people that are casted to be playing characters that many people of the franchise many fans of the franchise have been dying to see in this series for for years tommy doyle people have been waiting to see tommy doyle since paul rudd's portrayal of tommy doyle in halloween 6 we're not talking about rob zombies tommy doyle because we don't we don't care about him forget him <laughs> but you get you get my point we've been waiting to see tommy doyle again in the original continuity in this original franchise since halloween 6 from paul rudd and we know we have a different actor playing a playing Tommy Doyle in this new one, but it's just the fact that we have him. We know we have little Lindsay, little Lindsay Wallace back, and because Kyle, which is, is going to be playing her again, and then we have Marion Chambers being brought back in. We also have Lonnie, who's going to be making an appearance. So it's just like all of these people. Are, I'm going to just off the bat. My prediction is they're going to be part of this massive kill count. Because what I would hate to see is just another montage of halloween 2018 i think if you have like a montage of sorts and it comes off very cartoony at some point where we get like a literally a whole minute of michael myers just killing random people i don't need that i don't need that in my life i don't think the film needs it i don't think that would the film would benefit from that the little instance from the 2018 movie where he was just going home to home and killing people that was nice because it didn't go on too long uh but if we were to get something not just similar, but maybe an entire montage of that in Halloween Kills, I don't see that going over well. It sounds cartoony to me. Maybe if it's executed properly and if I see it on screen depicted well, I'll come back during a review and say something different. But I can't think of who would be a part of this body count outside of me adding in the people we already know who are going to be back. They're just coming back to get killed, it sounds like. So this massive body count, because we already had 17 or 18 from Halloween 2018. My guess for this is we're going to get about a solid 20, 28, close to 30 uh, as far as like victims are concerned. So we I'm predicting that Tommy Doyle will die, predicting that little Lindsay Wallace will die, predicting that Marion Chambers will die. Uh, I could be mistaken because also what I'm neglecting is Julian is supposed to come back. Julian and we are supposed to be meeting his family just from rumors and rumblings and things I've seen online. We're supposed to be meeting his family, his mother, all these other different individuals that are in relation to Julian. Because I know Julian, the, little, the actor that played Julian is supposed to be back. Can't wait to see him. He was the comic relief of the film. Kind of out of place, but overall he didn't overstay his welcome. So I'm happy to have the little man back. The issue or the, what I can see happening is we're, if we're not talking about those returning characters that we know we've all been waiting to see, maybe this body or this kill count will include a massive chunk of Julian's family and Julian. Or 
Maybe it includes Julian, his family, and all these returning characters. It's just like how many people are gonna get killed that we're gonna give a give a crap about. Like, you know? So you're you're hyping up this kill count. I don't really care how high the kill count is when it's made up of people I don't care about. So like if you're not killing a lot of people who matter or people who I'm emotionally invested in. I don't care and I understand that there that's not the point of hyping up the kill count but I have to sit here and question who is going to be factoring into this large quantity of people that we're expecting to get killed off in Halloween kills is it going to be a bunch of randoms and then just a few of these returning stars or is it going to be a lot of the returning cast and returning characters plus a moderate quantity from throwaway characters or just background characters or things of that sort like you know i'm just curious how much of this kill count is going to be pulling from characters that are that we have an emotional attachment to so like i know julian would get a reaction any of his relatives would probably get a reaction reaction out of audience members just by association because everyone loved julian from the 2018 film not everyone but you get you get what i'm saying he overall that guy that character positive reception for that character so I could see Julian's death being a big deal. His family by association just being more big deals. Uh, Karen, Ju uh, Lori Show's daughter, because we know they're all going to be back. Her death could be a big deal. And then little Lindsay Wallace, L Lonnie, and Tommy Doyle. If they're all going to just be brought back to be killed, I think that's kind of not what I want to see. It sounds kind of bad, honestly. <laughs> Uh, to bring back all these people just to get killed off but you know what the name of the movie is called Halloween Kills I I don't know what else to expect really honestly it doesn't sound like this movie is going to be very I don't want to say it's not going to be character driven it doesn't sound like this movie is going to be very I don't know what word I want to use it just it doesn't sound like it's going to be very because they're talking about how you're gonna it's gonna be very reminiscent of the 78 film with all the stalking and jump i don't feel like we're gonna have that i don't think we have time for that i think this movie is gonna be very action-packed i hope it's not as brutal as that one kill from halloween 2 rob zombies halloween kill with octavia spencer i still to this day think that kill is just way like way too much like what is the meaning of all this like and as a horror fan i even i i it just when I'm cringing as a horror fan watching that I that scene still to this day I just think that was way over the top that Octavia Spencer death in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was just way too much for me way too much and I'm a horror fan and I love things that are really gory and bloody and gross <laughs> but just getting back on the topic I don't know who is going to be making up this body count I'm expecting it's going to be most of the returning cast members I do hope that if because you're making a big deal out of it let it be some people who mean something to us it has to be include one of if not karen julian or karen julian someone else involved from this list of characters who were back lonnie lonnie doesn't mean crap to a lot of people <laughs> i know Lindsay and tommy doyle will hit home because those are characters we all know and love i think it would hit home more if it was paul rudd in the role though but you know it is what it is that character still is a, a fan favorite so seeing tommy doyle die probably might hit a few people in the heartstrings hit a few people's heartstrings so i'm really excited to see what they do what this body count will in, will consist of who it will consist of how nasty and how graphic will this movie get i'm just not expecting this movie to be very stock stalker heavy so like they i know we're gonna get a flashback or two with lonnie and that 1978 we're gonna have a 1978 flashback that might be the only time we see some stalking maybe i'm mistaken i just don't know how they're gonna incorporate all this and still have those rob zombie vibes with because that's what it sounds like it sounds like we're gonna get some rob zombie stuff here very nasty very raw and i hope it's not over the top that's my honest opinion on this i just want to talk really quick about the kill count and what john carpenter had to say about it um uh, he's making a big deal out of it he he approves of it apparently as well i approve of it i just don't know how 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 is this going to come off how is it going to come off that you have all these characters that are just you're just killing them like that's one of my biggest gripes with the screen franchise you have a supporting cast and you're just hacking them all off so like how much of this is going to be people we don't care about but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video how many people do you think are going to die in halloween kills if you, and again down in the comment section i'll have a link to this facebook group you can join that 
um, and message me on all my social media accounts if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.